Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica the Dancing Avon Lady, and today I am doing a seven day follow up video on our anti pollution serum. It's been about seven days since I started using the serum, and I want to kind of document my results. So, there's a little disclaimer I am 30, almost 38 weeks pregnant, so my hormones are a little bit off, and that probably has a little bit of play with how my skin would normally take in serums and products and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. So for the entire week, the only difference that I did for my entire skincare routine was that I added the a new neutralized anti-pollution serum before I used my regular serum, which during the morning is the power serum and in the evening is the hyaluronic um, serum, which is the hydrofusion line. That's the only difference. I didn't do a face mask, I didn't do anything else different, my cleansers, blah, blah, nothing else was different. So I, because I really wanted to see, would I get a, an effect within the seven days, like nine out of 10 women who wanted to share their results. Really quickly, I just wanted to do a bit of an update. I'm gonna show you my skin here. There were a couple of changes that I did notice. The redness along here, where I usually have most of my redness and a little bit on my cheeks here, it didn't go away completely, but however, because I am almost 38 weeks pregnant, it could also be just the fact of my hormones. And I know that they say that when you're pregnant, you have this pregnancy glow because of additional blood flow going through your body. So that could contribute to it as well. But it has gotten a little bit better. The other thing I did notice that after my shower and I use my blackhead cleaner here, when I'm kind of like, for lack of better words, scraping my nose, there was less stuff coming out. So I don't know if that's attributed to the anti-pollution serum, but I'm gonna guess yes, because that's the only change that I've made. As for my pores, I didn't notice much of a difference on my forehead, not much at all. The only place I did notice a difference with the size of my pores is right along my cheeks, right here that they seem to be a little bit smaller. So perhaps with added use, it might make actually a little bit more of a difference. We'll see. I'm giving birth in exactly one week from filming this video. So we'll see how <laughs> what where life takes me from there and we'll go from there. As advertised, it does absorb super duper quickly, like so quickly. And I really do appreciate that because it doesn't add a lot of time to my morning routine, which is great and fabulous. Uh, and then also something else I did notice was the first time I used it, I felt, I didn't feel any burning or stinging or tingling at all when I used uh, it on my bare skin after cleansing my face. However, on the days that I do exfoliate my face with a scrub, I did notice some mild tingling sensation. So you may or may not feel it went away within like a minute. So I would like I would wash my face, blah, 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 blah do my, ex, my exfoliation. And then I would use the serum after I came out of the shower. And it was just like a little bit of tingly, 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 tingly. But by the time that I put on my power serum, it pretty much went away. And it's been fine ever since. I do really like the scent of it. It's not overpowering. Like I say, it's kind of like fresh water with a little bit of citrusiness to it. So it actually complements really well with my with my other skincare products. So I was happy with that. My skin usually does feel soft because of my power serum anyways. So it feels a little bit dewier like maybe it's helping to keep in the moisture a little bit more however this is i do find that if i use this alone it is not a moisturizing serum whatsoever really what avon says is that it just it creates like a protective layer over your skin so that environmental stressors can't be absorbed into your skin as much from what i understand do i find that my skin tone is overall a little bit more even i guess so yeah i think so because like i say this part here it's not as red and so that would definitely blotch here uh it does like i mean i still have my freckles and then my freckles are my freckles maybe with a little bit more time it would make a difference i usually have a sunspot like right around here which has gone away significantly and i talked about this in another instagram post before it was the, the use of my skinvincible that i had to stop using since i got pregnant because of the retinol in it so will I keep using the product? Yes, I will keep using it because I can use it alongside with my other serums. It seems to have helped with the redness and a little bit of the skin texture like right around my cheek area like I mentioned before. Will I keep using this? Yes, I will keep using it because I mean, it does seem to like 
make a bit of a difference right around my nose area and again like I mentioned with my cheeks here it does the pore seem a little bit better um my sunspot may may have faded a little bit more because I it's hard for me to do an actual like comparison simply because I, I rely completely on natural light uh but it does look like it doesn't look like anything that's really come back which is great considering that I, my sunspot used to be something that I was so self-conscious about and um I actually got rid of most of it with the combination of my power serum and my skin Vincible day lotion I love that combination but I had to stop using that because of the pregnancy my doc my OB said to avoid anything with retinol a or retinol or retina or something along those lines I don't remember exactly the the all the different names for the vitamin a products so if you're concerned about whether or not the products are for you, always ask your own healthcare provider. My doctor just said avoid those products, avoid that one particular product, the vitamin A. I like the fact that it absorbs quickly, so it hardly adds any time to my skincare routine whatsoever. I enjoy the smell of it, and so yeah, I'm gonna keep using it, and then kind of keep going from there. I do expect a major hormonal change in a week after I give birth, and things start just changing around with my body again. So. Take that as you will. All right, so thank you so much for watching, guys. If you found this somewhat informative, I'm not sure if it really was, make sure you give my video a big fat thumbs up. But you know, just show me some love. I'm almost giving birth, guys. My brain is kind of foggy. Just give me some love. Please give me some love. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I usually have videos out every single week moving forward until I get used to the new baby schedule. It might be a little bit hiccupy, but we'll see. I'll try my best. Promise you guys, I will try my best. If you want to stay updated with what's going on with my little family, make sure you do also join our Yixer Us channel. And if you're interested in becoming a beauty boss, working part-time from home, full-time from home, whatever you would like, start your own online business by going to my e-store by clicking that link down below and I'll be here to help you out. And you could sell it to anyone across Canada through your free online store. Just click that button right down there. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.